Hey everyone, you came here to learn about publishing workbooks using Tableau's REST API. So let's get right into it. What we're looking at is the REST API's reference, and this is documentation that's going to tell us all the things that we can do when it comes to publishing a workbook using the Tableau REST API. And there are a lot of details here that you could read through, but in this demonstration, we're going to keep it really simple and we're going to start with the basics and we are just going to publish a workbook that has extracts. Now there are more things you can do and in other videos we'll expand on this, but let's dive right into some code. We are going to be using uh, Python and we're going to be using a library called Tableau API Lib. You could also use other libraries such as Tableau Server Client to publish your workbooks up to the server. But at the end of the day, all that these libraries are doing is they're coming out to this REST API reference here and they're using this these different endpoints that are available to construct things like the right endpoint that you're hitting, you know, the right URL that you're using with a post request to basically send the content that exists inside your workbook up to your Tableau server or Tableau online environment. Uh, so let's see how you make this happen. We're going to be using a Jupyter notebook. This is just a nice way of interacting with your code while you write some, uh, some Python, make things happen. Um, so we are starting out with some import statements here and these are what is importing the library and importing some querying functionality from Tableau API lib, which as we'll see, uh, when you publish a workbook up to your server or to your Tableau online site, you're going to need to know where you are dropping that piece of content. So we'll use querying functions to easily identify what projects exist in our environment so that then we can point to one of those projects and say, this is where I want the workbook to land. So let's run these statements and then we are configuring our Tableau server here and I am giving you my personal access token secret. Don't do this at home, kids. Uh, this is not something that you wanna do, but I want you to really see what this configuration looks like because in a lot of the blog posts, uh, the tutorials that I have out there, when I don't show the actual information, people end up uh, getting confused about this sometimes, especially when it comes to the site name and the site URL. So I do want to quickly point out that if I go out to my, uh, my actual environment, if you have no idea what your site URL is, this is also known as a content URL or sometimes called a uh, site ID, but don't get confused, this isn't the site uh, unique identifier that's uh, like really long and often used with the REST API. This is the site ID in this configuration. This site URL is going to be exactly what you see up here in, your, in the URL, like in your browser when you're on your site. Now, if you're using the default site, you might not have a site name. And in that case, it's completely fine to just leave this uh, as an empty string. In this case though, uh, I do know that I'm connecting to this site, Devix. This is my, my target. And so I have that information in there. If you wanna know more about this configuration or using a username and password instead of a personal access token, then check out the getting started video that is linked in the description of this one. So we're gonna assume that we got our configuration right. And then down here, we're just pointing to which configuration, you know, which environment we're connecting to. And in this case, I just happened to name this particular configuration Tableau server. So that's what I'm connecting to here. And then if we establish this connection, we now have our gateway to our Tableau server environment. Uh, if you don't get a response code of 200 here, when you sign in, then that means that something probably isn't right in your configuration details or Perhaps your server has some, uh, you might need to talk to your server administration and figure out, um, or server administrators and figure out, uh, hey, is this thing air gapped? 
Is this thing allowing traffic from the outside internet? Does it have the REST API enabled? Um, so we're going to assume that you have the REST API enabled. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to interact with anything in your Tableau environment using the REST API. And we get this successful response code if all of our config uh, information is set up appropriately. So now coming down here, uh, we talked about how you need to know where your content is going to be landing. So let's figure that out first before we worry about the workbook uh, and publishing it because we need to know what's the home of this thing. Where are we publishing it to? And in this case, I have a bunch of projects in my environment and the project that I want to publish to is this one down here, this publishing tutorials. And I'm just going to take this ID, this project ID value. So we can see up here, if I scroll up, this is the ID for my project. Um, this is just going to be stored into this variable I have here. Uh, you know, if you're really automating your pipelines, you're, you're gonna wanna do something a little bit more clever than this because you're not gonna be here to copy and paste your ID. But for this demonstration, let's just plug this in. So I have a project ID I'm going to point to. And then down here in this, um, this little bit of code, we're just telling um, Tableau server that I want to publish a workbook. And the method here in the Tableau API lib library, so remember Tableau API lib is what allowed us to establish this connection to our Tableau server. And then I have a method called publish workbook. And the reason it's named that way in the library is because if we come out here to the REST API reference, we can see that they call this publish workbook. Uh, over here on the side, we can see a bunch of other endpoints that we could make use of. And as much as possible, the Tableau API lib library always tries to mirror the names that you see in the actual documentation. So back to this code, what are we doing here? We are pointing to where, so which project uh, is this workbook going to land on? Then we need to point to a file path. This is the local file path that we have to our workbook. In this case, this same Python Jupyter notebook that I'm in, in that same directory, I just have this workbook file existing. So I don't need to do any kind of crazy file path, but you could do you know, any kind of uh, file path that leads you from where you're currently, uh, where your code is being executed to where that, uh, that workbook file is. That's what you would put here for your workbook file path. And then I have workbook name. This is the name that that workbook is going to get on the server. And we can actually see there are lots of other things we could pass while we're publishing our workbook. But again, for this demonstration, I wanna start with the most simple scenario. And in this case, we have, we'll, we'll take a look at the workbook in a second. Um, and well, let's look at it now, actually. So we are going to just hop into this, uh, this Tableau file and we can see, here's my workbook, it's really basic. I have just this little sheet that's connecting to some, uh, some cryptocurrency price data and we have an extract here. And so I'm just publishing a workbook that has an extract in it. Nothing too fancy, this is a very common scenario. And so let's hop back into our um, our code, let's actually run this. So let me make sure that I've got my project ID set. And then I'm going to say, let's actually publish this thing. And we can check that this was successful by just inspecting our response. I get this response code to a one, you know, what does that mean? Well, we could come out to the REST API um, reference and we could scroll through this and we could see uh, what is the status code I think I might have uh, might have scrolled past it, but um, but what is the status code of a successful response? Um, it's actually 201, so if I can't find it here, I'm just gonna have to say uh, you're gonna have to trust me on that one. But I think if we yeah here we go. If we scroll far enough down, we can get this information that the response code should be 201. You also see that you're supposed to get some kind of response body that looks like this. So let's see what happens here if I inspect the response as JSON, and we can see that that very much uh, what we saw in the documentation of what this endpoint's doing 
uh, we do see a response that kind of mirrors that. So this is going to tell us some uh, information that if you're really building an automated pipeline where you're publishing workbooks, you might want to store some results of that. Like maybe you want to know if your publish attempt failed. Uh, well, you could log that. Or maybe if it's successful and you get this 201 response code, you want to know who the owner of this thing is. And you could do that as well. We can see here who the owner is, what that owner's ID is. Um, and so on and so forth. You have so much information here about what you published. And that's really it. All we needed to do was figure out which project we were publishing to, then find this endpoint here that's been implemented by the publish workbook method in Tableau API lib. And we point to where that workbook is. We point to where we wanna publish it. We give it a name. And if we go out to my environment, we can just verify really quickly that this thing has been published. So I refresh, I see my workbook is here and I can interact with it. So we have published a workbook and hopefully this is helpful to you. I know that I've gotten a few requests about um, how you can do this. So hopefully this is helping those people who asked about that and helps people in the future who stumble upon this. If you're interested in more of these tutorials and even in going deeper on um, how to publish workbooks with embedded credentials and so on, then stay tuned to this channel. We'll definitely be covering these topics and other topics having to do with automating things in your Tableau environment. So I hope to see you around. Catch you next time.